Hi, my name is Heather Hagerman. I work with the Multicultural Association, and I would like to teach you how to make bannock on a stick. We will start by making our fire. We'll take our wood that we have chopped and place it in the fire pit like a teepee. You will see that we have placed a piece of paper in the middle. So when we do start our fire, it will start from the bottom. Once you have that lit, you let it burn and blow a few times to get it going. Now you have a nice fire. You don't want it too big as you will be cooking over top. As we wait for the bannock, I will show you how we can make our stick. You cut off the excess leaves. We are cleaning up our stick now. Shaving it down with a hunter's knife for a nice clean place for our bannock to cook on. Once it's cleaned up, you'll place it in the fire just to burn excess stuff off of it to have it nice and clean to put food on. And no sap will be going in your food. I'll be showing you how to make bannock. Four cups of flour, stir very well with your fork, or you could use your hands. I like to do both. Now we need two tablespoons of sugar. Also, two tablespoons of baking powder. one-fourth of butter. I like to melt mine in the microwave so it's easier to mix. One teaspoon of salt. Dig a hole, sort of like a volcano, and that's where you will be putting your water. Two 
two cups of water. If you're needing more because your bannock is dry, just add a little bit at a time as you're folding it. As you see, I'm folding it. I do this completely around five times. Lay it out on your counter with flour. Take away the excess. Perfectly placed bannock on a cookie sheet. Pat it down and then we will cut each piece into inches apart. Perfect to wrap around that stick. Make sure that there is no space in between for later and we can pour in our syrup. We will place our bannock on a stick in our fire now and you will constantly rotate it so it cooks evenly throughout your bannock. You don't want to keep it in one place or it will burn. We are looking for that golden brown look. As you can see, it is rising and cooking very well. Look at that bannock. Mmm, it looks delicious. Now for our syrup. You can also put butter, jam, peanut butter, whatever you'd like with your bannock. I prefer syrup and to fill it all the way to the top like so. Okay. Now take a bite. Now to try. Thumbs that up. looks like a piece of really good bannock. 